Hi everyone, my name is Rachel from the Marks Group Live and I'm here today to teach you all about Zoho CRM campaigns. Now this video is all about the campaigns module in Zoho CRM, not about the campaigns application, Zoho campaigns. We have other videos on that, feel free to check them out. Enjoy. So today we're gonna focus on the campaigns module in the CRM program. This is a little bit different than Zoho Campaigns, which is a different application altogether. You can pull information from the CRM Campaigns module into Zoho Campaigns, um, but in the Campaigns module in the CRM, this is really just a place that you can keep track of all of the marketing campaigns that you do. You can send emails, you can do things directly from this module, uh, but it's not as nuanced as what you can do in the campaigns application. We do go over that campaigns application in another video. We also talk about the difference between the two uh, in another video as well, so feel free to check it out if you have any questions. But today what we're gonna focus on is the campaigns module. So I'm gonna click on it up here at the top of my toolbox or our toolbar and it's gonna take me to my home page of all of the campaigns. So there's not many campaigns in here. This is a test um, environment. Um, but today what I'm gonna do is show you how to create a new campaign, how you can send emails or different things from that campaign, and um, how you can connect deals that might come from that campaign um, into, into this module. That way you can run reports, you can see how effective your marketing is. is. Um, so just like anything in the Zoho CRM, you click on the plus button to go ahead and create a new campaign. Now my campaign uh, module here, or my CRM, is connected to Zoho Survey, which is another platform on the Zoho One uh, business suite. If you want to do a campaign from Zoho Survey, I'll just show you that very quickly um, if this is a program that you also use, you're able to create a, a survey and um, send it out to your clients. So maybe um, you can associate an existing survey or create a new survey. Maybe if you want to know uh, what people think about new products, you can blast that out in a big email from, um, from your CRM campaigns. But that's not what I'm going to do today. I'm just going to show you a typical campaign. So I'm going to click offline because it's not connected to any other program. So the first thing you're going to do is choose who is the owner of the campaign. We only have one option here. It's Mark's Group Live Admin. This is the only user in our CRM. Um, but if you are using a CRM with many users, you can choose who, who is the owner. And then over here, you can choose what type of um, campaign it is. Is this a, you know, a blast you're doing at a conference? Are you trying to get more information from a webinar? Um, there's a bunch of out-of-the-box options. Um, I'm going to do this in, as an email campaign. I think it's the most direct campaign. It's something that um, is used often. You're sending out an email to a bunch of leads or a bunch of contacts about um, some products that you have coming out, maybe a sale, who knows. So I'm going to have this be an email campaign. And then we can go ahead and name the campaign. When you click on something in Zoho, this just populates with another campaign name we did. But I'm going to call this, let's see, it's October now, Black Friday's coming. I'm going to call this our Black Friday Marketing Campaign. And then you can choose the status. Um, are you planning the campaign? Is it actively happening? Is it inactive, no longer done? Or is this campaign complete? We are in the planning stages of this campaign. I'll go ahead and put the start date today, October 10, 2019, and we'll end it. I think Thanksgiving is the 21st. We'll end it on Black Friday, the 22nd. So here you can go ahead and put in what you hope your expected revenue from this campaign, what you're budgeting for this campaign, and what it ends up actually costing you. Um, what I like about this and this little um, info icon will tell you if you click on it is you can put in different numbers and it's it's a function, it's a calculator. Um, so it doesn't really, for <laughs> this expected revenue, you don't necessarily need this tool. I'm gonna say we hope to get um, $10,000 out of this campaign. And the budget will do 2,500. 
But for the actual cost, you can always do, oh, we spent $40 on this Google ad plus, you know, $75 on, so, you know, you get the point there. But um, we haven't started planning it yet. There's no actual cost right now. Here you can write the expected response, what you hope to get from that. And you can also fill in how many emails were actually sent out. You can fill this in as you go. Um, if the currency is something different than U.S. dollars, the exchange rate will um, change. This is a read-only field. You can't change it yourself. Um, but Zoho keeps up to date if you're doing business in other con countries what the exchange rate is from dollars to, you know, euros or, or whatever. Here you can write a description if you want. I will say, um, this is a campaign, oh my goodness, to let customers know about our 2019 Black Friday deals. And then I will go ahead and save this. And it's going to take me to my campaign page. So, as you can see, here is the name of the campaign, what the dates of the campaign. You can add a tag to this. If you have a lot of campaigns, you can add a tag. Um, I won't right now, but <laughs> you can. Um, who the owner is, what type of campaign it is, what the status is. And as you can see, when I hover over, I can always just click on this and edit. So maybe... The emails went out. I can say this is an active campaign. And then, um, you know, as you put in numbers for what the cost is, you can go ahead and the actual cost will update. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. This is all of the information that we filled out, the description. And here's where you can just keep track of what's going on in your campaign. You can add notes. I'll say um, this campaign, oh my gosh, was created on 10 10 19. Let's save it. Maybe uh, you can say, maybe tomorrow I'm going to send an email out and I'll say, email blast went out. 10, 15, 19. I know that's in the future from where I am now, but that's another way you can put notes so you can kind of track what's going on with this campaign. Now, you have the option to also put child campaigns. So this main campaign, we'll call this the parent campaign, but maybe you're um, sending out other little campaigns. Maybe you want to send to a group of customers in New York an extra deal. You can put a child campaign. You can build a whole new campaign that's connected to this, um, but is under the umbrella of this, you know, Black Friday marketing campaign. You can create activities that are directly um, related to this, uh, to this campaign. So you can go ahead and put a new event. Maybe you're meeting with the sales team to go over what, what the deals are. You can put that in the campaign. You can add any attachments. If you want to send a PDF, if you send out a coupon flyer or you want to send a PDF of the email you send out, you can. Here's where your close activities will go. And then down here with the leads, deals, and contacts, this is where you're going to put who actually is associated with this campaign? Who is getting this information? So I'm going to say we're going to send this out to our leads and our contacts. Anyone that might be a customer could benefit from our deals. We're going to send this out. So I clicked on add leads. And I'm going to click here. And it's going to add all of our leads into, uh, into this campaign. We only have 10 here. But... Uh, uh, Again, this is a test module. So then you can select the status. Are we planning to involve them? Have they been invited? Has an email been sent? Anything received? Open, responded, bounced? You have all of these options. I'm going to say plan because we have not yet sent out an email. And I'll go ahead and save. And then you can see here that here are all of our leads that are planning to get information about this, um, about this campaign. I'm going to add some contacts, too, because I want everyone to know about all these deals. I'm going to have all of our contacts come in. They're also planned and save. 
Okay, so you have a few options of what you can do here once you select the leads. You can add them to campaign, you can create a new campaign, you can send an email, or you can mass update member status. So they're already added to this campaign. This is if you'd like to add them to another campaign. Create a new campaign. Obviously, this is adding them to a new campaign that you've not yet created. Send email. This is this is what we're going to do because this is an email campaign. I want to send out an email to all these people letting them know about this deal. So then you can select a template. We go over in multiple videos um, how to use email templates. So these are all the templates that we have in our um, in our test environment. Before, you know, in an ideal world, before you go ahead and um, create uh, this marketing campaign, you're going to have your email template with, um, with this marketing campaign already set up. So I'm not going to go over how to complete that. I'm just going to, you know, choose one of our templates. Welcome, welcome to Mark Group, Mark's Group Live. You can choose who you want this to come from. I'll say this is from support at Mark's Group Live. And then I'm going to go ahead and send. So this shows me that eight e emails have been sent out successfully. Not all of these have emails, which is why of this, why only eight went out successfully. Not all ten have emails. And also, um, not all these emails are real. So some of these are going to be bounced back. You can do the same thing with the contacts. You have the same choices. Add campaign, create new campaign, send email, mass update of member status. What I'm going to go ahead and do right now is go back up here to my leads. I'm going to click on all of them and I'm going to mass update member status. So right now the member status is that they are planned. It is planned to um, involve them in this campaign. But I'm going to change planned to sent. We sent an email to them. Now we know. Now down here in deals, you can keep track of any deals that might come from this um, campaign. You can keep track of it here. So you can either assign a new deal to this campaign or assign an already created deal to this campaign. Or you can create a new deal. Most likely, from what I've seen, is you're going to actually be assigning a deal. Um, not creating deal. We go over how to create deals in another video. I'm not going to do that right here. But um, you're probably going to um, let me go down. You're probably going to assign a deal because most likely this will go out through whoever does your marketing, and your salesperson might be the one that's closing the deal or starting a deal. So um, let's say I found out that this um, possible pledge is. Um, coming. I'm going to assign that and confirm it. And then what we'll see is, is the deal is here. Now what might change up here is money that's in the pipeline. We have these deals in the pipeline from this, from this deal that I just, um, the pledge deal that I just uh, assigned. We have about $14,000 now in the pipeline from these open deals. No revenue has come in because none of the deals were closed. I haven't kept track of what the actual cost of our campaign is yet. But these all update as this information updates. So this is your Zoho CRM campaigns module. Um, and as I said, unlike Zoho CRM, which is a different program, this is a place where you're really keeping track of all of the revenue that your marketing campaigns are, you know, bringing in. Um, from the CRM campaign, or sorry, from the campaign's uh, application, you can be a little more nuanced on what you're sending out and strategizing and planning your marketing, um, your marketing efforts. But again, this is where you're going to run data. This is where you're going to see where your money is coming in. 
Thank you so much for joining us today. Please feel free to reach out to us with any comments, questions, concerns at support at marksgrouplive.com. And if there's anything in our video library that you'd like to see that isn't already there, please let us know. We'd love to hear from you what you want to see from our trainers. Thanks and have a great day.